Welcome to this holy instant now. An instant to stop and remember. Remember who and what you truly are beyond the matrix of fear, lack, and limitation. All that seems to limit you in this world is only an illusion that demands your continued belief and attention in order to have any power over you. Now is your opportunity to let go of whatever stands in the way of your complete awareness of your true and original self. Sit back with your spine upright, get comfortable, and take a deep, slow breath. And as you exhale, release both past and future, release both memory and imagination, and become fully present in the now. And let's begin. The contemplation with which we begin today's practice is this. What is the ego? The ego is your dream character self and its world, an illusory and fear-based self-identity that arises from the belief in separation from God. It is a self-concept rooted in judgment, guilt, and the pursuit of illusory desires in order to complete itself. The ego is the root and foundation of conflict, suffering, and the illusory self-concept that keeps us from experiencing the love and unity that is our essential nature. The ego is the sign of limited and separated consciousness, born in a body, doomed to suffer and to end its life in death. It is the will that sees the will of God as enemy and takes a form in which it is denied. The ego is the so-called proof that true strength is weak and love is fearful. Life is really death and what opposes God alone is true. The ego is insane. In fear, it stands beyond the everywhere, apart from all, and in separation from the infinite. In its insanity, it thinks it has become a victor over God himself, and in its terrible autonomy, it thinks it sees the will of God has been destroyed it dreams of the subsequent punishment and trembles at the figures in its dreams, its so-called enemies, who seek to murder it before it can ensure its safety by destroying them. The child of God is egoless. What can he know of madness? and the death of God when he abides in the infinite creator? What can he know of sorrow and of suffering when he lives in eternal joy? What can he know of fear and of punishment, of sin and guilt, of hatred and attack when all there is surrounding him is everlasting peace, forever conflict-free and undisturbed.
To know reality is to not partake in the ego and its thoughts, its works, its acts, its laws and its beliefs, its dreams, its hopes, its plans for its salvation and the cost belief in it entails. By recognizing the ego's illusory nature forgiving its judgments and returning to the awareness of our true nature as extensions of God's love and oneness, we lose our interest in the ego and rediscover our true self. And now, take a slow, full and deep breath in and as you let it go, Open your mind to the contemplation. What is the ego? Allow your mind to relate the ideas you learned to your daily decisions, your goals, your interactions, and the way that you perceive yourself and the world. Take the next minute or so to contemplate this now. And now, take one more deep, slow, and full breath in. And as you exhale slowly, let your mind and body relax. And open your awareness to the idea with which we practice today. I can be free of suffering today. Infinite Creator, I thank you for this day and for the freedom I am certain it will bring. This day is holy. For today your creation will be fully redeemed. My suffering is done, for I will hear your voice directing me to find Christ's vision through forgiveness and be free forever from all suffering. Thank you for this day, my Creator. I was born into this world but to achieve this day and what it holds in joy and freedom for your Holy One and for the world He made, which is released along with Him today. Be glad today. Be glad. There is no room for anything but joy and thankfulness today. Our Creator has redeemed us this very day. Not one of us, but will be free today. Not one who will remain in fear, and none 
the Creator will not gather to Himself, awake in heaven, in the heart of love. Every form of emotional suffering, all mental anguish, is the result of false perception. Why is it false? It is false because it is partial, and based on the partial perspective, we assign judgment to the aspects of creation that we see, in part, we do not recognize the whole and we do not understand where the part fits in. And as we behold it, we see it as something to judge, something that is wrong, something that should not be. This results in separation from the whole, not in truth, but in perception. Forgiveness releases us from the need to separate. It offers us another way to walk through life, another way to move through the world of appearances, to move through it gently, with joy, with laughter, and with peace in our heart. Why? Simply because as we behold this dream-like illusion, we realize that nothing here could be true because it contradicts reality. Therefore, there is no need to fight. There is no need to suffer. There is no need to resist, attack, or defend. Today, we can be free of suffering by allowing forgiveness to reveal to us a new vision of the world. Let us invite that vision into our minds, into our hearts, that we may see the world through the eyes of Christ, through the eyes of our true, lucid, whole and holy self. And in this way, we free ourselves from the need to judge and therefore we free ourselves of the false perception based in separation. And with this, all the suffering that it has brought to our minds is gone. Infinite Creator, I can indeed be free of suffering today.
take one more deep, slow, and full breath in, breathing in all of the energy and frequency of your practice, integrating it into your thought system and perception now. As you exhale slowly, relax and release and allow the integration to take place. And remember to bring this feeling and this awareness with you into the rest of your day. I can be free of suffering today. Infinite Creator, I thank you for this day and for the freedom I am certain it will bring. This day is holy. For today your creation will be fully redeemed. My suffering is done. For I will hear your voice directing me to find Christ's vision through forgiveness and be free forever from all suffering. Thank you for this day, my Creator. I was born into this world but to achieve this day and what it holds in joy and freedom for your Holy One and for the world He made, which is released along with Him today. Thank you for investing your time and energy into your awakening and the awakening of the world. If you enjoyed this meditation and want to take your awakening journey deeper, join the Beyond the Matrix membership for additional content, community live streams, guided group meditations, and opportunities for one-on-one -on -one conversations. Click the join button at the top of this channel to learn more. May you be at peace and know your true self.